Okay, to start off, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm applying that all over the eye area and I'm going to blend it out with my finger. And now I'm going to my crease using the MAC Gel Liner and Black Black Track. Using a Inglot Angle Brush and this is the 3-1-T. So I've applied a bit of the liner to the brush and I'm going to use it to draw a line above my crease area because you want that cut crease to show when the eyes open like this And now I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Loose Pigment in Star Powder. Using a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm simply going to wet that brush with, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Charge Water just to damp the brush and I'm applying the loose pigment to the brush and I'm going to press it on to the bottom area under that crease so I'm simply gonna press it on and slightly winging it on the outer corner and apply a tiny bit on the inner lower and now using a crease brush, I'm going to go in with a matte black eyeshadow and blend out the gel liner that I applied previously. Just soften up that line a bit. And now taking a MAC 217 with a bit of the MAC eyeshadow and Embark, I'm going to blend out the matte black eyeshadow. And now I'm going to go in with a Sigma blending brush. This is, yeah. And I'm using the MAC eyeshadow in Arena for my highlight color. And now to go back in with the Embark. I'm not applying any more product to the brush. I'm simply sweeping it over the highlight color that I just applied. Just to add a bit more color to that. And now I'm going in with a bit more of the Black Track Fluid Liner using a Sephora Angle Brush. And I'm going to go over that cut crease again, that crease line that I previously drew in. And this is just to sharpen up that line.
and again over that with the crease brush. I'm not applying any more products to the brush, I'm just using it to blend out the line to soften it up. And now I'm going to add a bit more product to that crease brush and use it to line my lower lash line. But I'm not going to go past the loose pigment that I applied in the inner tear duct area. And I'm going to use that same gel liner to line my lower lash line, my inner waterline I should say. Using that same angle brush, I'm simply pressing it on to the inner waterline. And again, I'm not going past the loose pigment that's on the inner corner of my eye. And again, using that same loose, <laughs> what am I saying? Using the same liner, I'm going to line my lash area, my lash line. And now to apply some lashes, I'm using the Ardell Fashion Lashes, natural ones. This is number 120. While the glue is drying, I'm going to add some concealer to my under eye area and I'm using Max Concealer in NC45 and again I'm using my finger to apply that. And now to set that using the Ben 9 Banana Powder and using a, this is a large fluff brush by Sigma. And I'm simply pressing that into the concealer. And now to add some liner. Now that's that for the eyes. I'm going to apply the NARS blush in Angelica. And it's a soft pink blush with shimmer. And I'm going to apply that onto the apples of my cheeks and scoop it up. And this is a Sephora powder brush, number 55. Okay, so I'm going to use the press powder by Nika or Nika K in cream cocoa, creamy cocoa, using a elf angle brush. <laughs> my brush just fell apart <laughs> oh my gosh I mean that's what you get for paying a dollar for your brush don't get me wrong I have elf brushes that are wonderful but hey this one just kind of gave up on me and on my lips I'm gonna use the Stila 
lip and cheek stain. I really ever use this. This is in Raspberry. Raspberry Crush. And I'm just gonna dab a bit onto my lips. It smells really, really good. And to go over this with the Ample Pink Max, Max Lip Gloss in Ample Pink. So this is the completed look. 